Hey, it's Alyssa Ray. Today I'm supposed to be making a video about three ways to cut back or stop using plastic. And I have all these cool ideas about what I want to share with you. And I also, like, I just heard about this, which may be a myth or maybe not, but it was an interesting image. Somebody told me that in the middle of the ocean, there's like an island that's being created out of plastic, out of all this plastic that we use and just it gets discarded and put there. So I sort of have three kind of what I call impossible thoughts, which really aren't impossible. They just haven't happened yet. So the first one is, what if we took all the plastic that we use from everything and actually we weren't allowed to produce any more new plastic. So we had to use the old plastic to make things like parts of cars and park benches and playgrounds and all of the, anything that's plastic has to be made from something that was plastic. Okay. That's one. The other one is like having clean every, every plastic thing clean, right? So like children at daycare centers and schools and stuff, that's like part of their art supplies. So they like cut up bits of milk containers and like glue it together and make some kind of cool art project. And um, another idea that I had is, I think they do this actually in Japan, is that with your trash, you actually like wash your trash. So you're not throwing away like icky, yucky bits of trash and then it's separated. So like food goes in like a compost pile. Plastic, if it had food in it, gets washed out, goes in a plastic pile. Paper, goes in a paper recycle. Everything gets kind of um, separated like that. And even like the plastic, can you, before you throw it away, think, mm, maybe could I rinse this out and reuse it? Or like I use, you know, the bags or the plastic kind of wrap that you get your toilet paper in. I use that as the trash can liner in the bathroom. So like just challenge yourself just one time to try something sort of weird. Maybe it doesn't look like so luxurious, but what would our planet be like if it's full of plastic junk everywhere? And what if someone could come up with a really cool idea to like you know, melt down the plastic and perhaps it releases some kind of chemical or something. I don't know. But what if we could bottle that and run our cars off of it? I believe that we as humans are incredibly creative and that if we put our minds to it, we can make some amazing things. We're just like not challenged right now. We're not challenged because it's not scarce yet. The supply we can just make new, so why should we use old? But what if we made old and we're able to go to sort of a new dimension and take care of our planet and also be creative? I feel like we might have a little bit more fun and yes, what's the point of life? If you're not enjoying it, I feel like we're missing something. So maybe we can bring a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, so that's my plastic video. Mm, I hope you love it. And thanks, Laura Hames Franklin, for the uh, question on your vlog about plastic. So that's why I made this video for you all. And I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Come over to AlyssaRay.com. Maybe you want to move with me. Check out my Me Time videos. It's a live streamed class. Move our body. Feel connected to ourselves and to each other based on we're all human. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.